Scored lots of goals when Barcelona won the league title. Samoletu on the balcony of the town hall in Barcelona stood up and said... No, it wasn't on the balcony, it was in the middle of the, of Sorry, the camp. I think that's pushing him. I think a little bit Figo never really apologised for leaving Barcelona to join Real Madrid. Bilbao. Yeah. In fact, he went in the European... There's Ronaldinho, can he keep the ball in? Just runs away there from the Brazilian who we think has been voted the Ballon d'Or. The ground before he even touched Gio, yeah. Very quickly as Barca is wasting possession there. Will Madrid team is Casillas, Mitchell Salgado, Roberto Carlos, Sergio Ramos. On deck coach with Ronaldinho. Working a shooting chance, perhaps Ronaldinho. Well blocked by David Beckham. Said yesterday Beckham that he wouldn't mind having Ronaldinho in his team. <laughs> Is there anyone who would? Well, interestingly, David Beckham did say that had Ronaldinho Keith hit hit some really, really nice free kicks from this sort of level, I guess Ronaldinho will take it. Xavi can also take them. Yeah. I think this is Ronaldinho territory, though. There he is, the Brazilian is taking the two or three steps back, looking attentively at the ball. Here he is, Ronaldinho, straight into the wall, gets the rebound, well blocked by Ramos. Falls to Eto. Good possession for Barcelona, Ronaldinho looking to take a Mitchell Salgado again into the area, Ronaldinho! Well, he wanted a corner, didn't he? Referee very quick to give a goal kick. He's here in this area, it's with Giovanni. Oof, Salgado, a little... Back with Puyol. He'll have another one now as well. Better be careful, he doesn't want to get a booking early on in the game against Ronaldinho. In some ways, the most significant loss Real Madrid can have is Michel Salgado in terms of what he brings to the side, in terms of spirit and... Big decision for Frank Rijkaard. No offside against Eto. Into the area, Samuel Eto! On a contact to see him... to see him go down. Referee penalising Ronaldinho there for not jumping, but um, I think Salgado is missed time now. Yeah, and I think... Well, he just makes the bed for him. Last year, even though they lost 4 2, but the best I saw him play was that time when the Yorker came here and won 5 0. And I only 18, of course. Well, when you talk to Leo Messi, you can hardly yeah. hear him. He whispered. It's with pace. Ronaldinho just keeps the ball in. Running at Ramos. Inside to Eto. Looks for the 1 2. Looks like offside, and the linesman confirms that by raising his flag. But Eto. A two in the middle there, and a little bit of space for the flick. I think that was a wasted chance by Numbers, forcing it back to Pablo Garcia. Poor ball though, Ronaldinho got there behind of Mitchell Salgado. Handball, however. Right decision, I think Ronaldinho was a little unlucky, it was right decision, but Barca risk getting caught by complaining about it. Oh, it's yeah. Oof. <laughs> What's well, I think they took it from the wrong place. Goals against Barcelona, are they? All the boots are big. Slid in there, Ramos, good challenge. Um, Don't didn't, know. didn't just sling the ball into the box first time with his lots right foot. Lots of time, didn't Lots of time, yeah. It's Deco losing up to Pareto. Elguera's under it. Controlled by Deco to Ronaldinho. Salgado right behind him. I think, I think Iturralde Gonzalez would be absolutely justified. Booking him, maybe. Yeah, fair enough on him, you know. Oh, but that's, that's them's, them's the rules, as them's, they say. Them's but, the rules, ah. But, but um... Deco. Oh, Deco. Danger here as well. Deco! He's also on the bench. So, I wonder a little bit about the reaction of Madrid tonight, doesn't it? He really does want to show what it's all about. Reich has been taking care not to play too much. You might have seen 80,000 people. Dino here on, on the Barcelona left, cut inside. Oh, oh, what a pass. Messi again. Three plays around him, and in the end, they just wanted to be two. Vital save there from Iker Casillas. And Ronaldinho is going to get. Is it yellow? It is yellow. Small set for Ramos. Yeah, Barca with two players booked now. It's Deco getting the first yellow card for Barca. Ronaldinho getting the second. And let's be honest, that Nielsen a little bit fortunate. We'll see one a bit earlier. Yeah, I, I'd quite like to see the Nielsen one again because although he went in very late and very hard, Ed Nielsen, I think David Beckham was already travelling up. A bit of an elbow there. Yeah, well, it's sort of a forearm smash, isn't it? <laughs> Just really seen them sort of put a string of passes together, isn't it? Just. Just. Over Robinho's head, Barcelona breathe again. It's Ronaldinho, Ronaldinho, oh, he's just, just lost control at the wrong moment. 
Well, rather like the Samuel Eto'o chance earlier on. Great pass. Ronaldinho, oh, sombrero over Michel Salgado, finds Messi, Leo Messi. Trying to get in that favoured left for the pass, he's got Ronaldinho out on his left, here is Ronaldinho, oh, great control. It's against, uh, against Ramos, turns him inside out. Has to pull it back onto his right foot though. She chips that one in, Messi! Should he have left it? No, and the reason I say no is because Elgeda was jumping with him, I think had he left it, Elgeda probably would have got there, but you're right in so much as he did have Samoletto behind him. And you're also right in so much as it's a shame that Ronaldinho Oof. had to come back on his right foot. So, I mean, he's got El yeah, yeah. so close yeah, yeah. to them. Tell you what, if you see that cross again, look at Ramos's hand. He thinks about sticking that left hand out, doesn't he? Not seen the best of Real Madrid. And they're losing 1-0 against Barcelona. And here come Barcelona again. We're a second to go for a long time. Not since the last time you went flying. <laughs> Puyol. Madrid not getting into this game at all. Barca, what they really need is for this first half to continue. Oh. Ronaldinho, can he get into the penalty area? Dinho! Beckham back battling away. No one there for Ronaldinho. He's a guy who wants to win. I'm not sure what. I think he's now. He just has a little, little hug on. Oh, that's <laughs> why. It's, it's the little knee. Massively fit. It's Deco. But some of the others do. Ronaldinho, Barcelona getting a little bit of space. So we're talking about, <coughs> excuse me, we're talking about, you know, I was saying at half time, Luxembourg will be in there really, really getting into his players, forcing them to come out all guns blazing. In fact, the reverse has happened, and Madrid just look. Van Broncos, thought about the shot, gives it to Ronaldinho. Puts it sad, Ronaldinho! 14 shots. Poor shot, that one. Yeah, not good. Chance of a break on here, ball to Ronaldinho. Herring away down the touchline for Barcelona. He's got Giovanni Van Broncos outside him, can he finish it, Gio? Well, Eto's on the floor. Not quite sure. The game's just broken down a little bit as well, hasn't it? I think Barcelona is in their interest to get the ball back and start playing. The last one they want is this game to get bitty. Yeah, exactly. Xavi, space here. Special strain. At first, people thought it actually snapped a hamstring. Now then, he, he's had one day's treatment, you know, he's, it's, he's had a slight strain, how fit is Guti going to be? Danger. What a goal! That is magnificent! That is why he has got the golden boot! And I tell you what, there are even Madrid fans applauding. That, that is it. absolutely magnificent! Those on screen up, but some of them in front of us are. That is outstanding! Very, very, very rare that you see Real Madrid fans applaud an opposition player. It is rarer still, I would say, never happens that you see Real Madrid fans applaud a Barcelona player. Oh but if one word. man deserves it, it's this man. That is absolutely but, uh, uh, that, fabulous. Uh, uh, I'm I'm not, I'm, it, it's genius. It I was gonna, really is genius. I tell what, you what, what a footballer. What a footballer this guy is. And we've been talking all night about Leo Messi and Samuel Eto'o. And I was saying, well, Ronaldinho has been a little bit quiet, but he's had some nice touches. Goodness my gracious. God, what a goal. Oh, my word. Well, there's 29 minutes. Oh. 30 <laughs> minutes of injury time. This game already. Video it now. Oh, because oh. at the end of the game, we will show the highlights. We will show that goal again. And that is a goal you <laughs> I've seen you up in back. It's very comfortable. <laughs> Here comes Barca again. Eto. No, Samuel Eto. Samuel Eto pulls it back, and that's a vital clearance. Sergio Ramos. And Ronaldinho is applauding Eto because I think he it was knows, a cross, wasn't it? He knows that Eto could well have gone. Made the bed for yeah, him. Yeah, that time I think was far less clear than the one we saw oh, in yeah. the first half. Once again. For those of you who couldn't make that out, um, somebody's lost, someone's passport. lost their passport. <laughs> they pick it up again. While we were listening to that, we've, we've been told from, from the, the cameras on the, uh, on the other side of the stadium that the offside was a correct decision against Ronaldo. But incisiveness about Messi, but still just controlling the ball, getting those whistles from the crowd in the burnabout. It's charming. One, two, good battling there from Ronaldinho, good defending from El Guerra. Very good defending from Ivan El and the other thing, incidentally, as well... I tell you, Paul, if people stood up and applauded Ronaldinho last time, I more. would say probably 50... Football Ballon d'Or, European Football of the Year, effectively makes him World Football of the Year. I tell you this what, I week, the Brazilian commentator behind is still going, Ronaldinho! Yeah, uh, allow me a, a momentary personal because aside. His soapbox is prepared. Yeah, my soapbox is prepared. No, it's not actually my soapbox, actually. Oi, oi, oi. Um, 
my girlfriend's in the stadium tonight. She's a Real Madrid fan. She won't be very happy. However, however, she also loves Ronaldinho. And I just have to say, I'm very pleased that Ronaldinho scored two of the greatest goals you'll ever see at her end of the pitch. Well, I tell you, I just, just what I said was... I mean, but what I joy it is. What joy it is to see this guy play football. It really is. Oh, fantastic. And after that, people are starting to get up. They're leaving their seats. And they're going home, Al. Real hunger, real desire. This guy could end up being rated as one of the best of all time, Paul. Because my word, he's just goodness gracious. He's too good. He is too good. Wow! Look at that. <laughs> look at that celebration. Windmilling arms. Well, there'll be a few Barcelona. I'd have thought they'll yeah, be absolutely. they'll be dancing in the fountains of the Ramblers. It's been. I mean, we were talking before the game, weren't we, about it not just being the three points, but the morale boost, confidently, so completely. And we talk about the morale boost for Barcelona, but going to... It's not going to basically just lie like this, is it? I think the first thing they'll do is... I can see the... He's worked so hard, he's done so much tonight. It's Ronaldinho, Robinho, I tell you what, Sergio Ramos won't want to see him again in a hurry. I tell you what, there is one... There was I like quite him. Like him. And they, work, they work so tactically, he's... They weren't helping Raul went off, and there... The final whistle in the Santiago Bernabéu.